Happening today, absentee ballots are officially available for Michigan voters ahead of the state's primary election in just over a month. And you sense Kellen Buddy is here to break that down for us this morning. Kellen, you spoke with the East Lansing City Clerk ahead of the ballots being sent out. Yeah, I did. Good morning, guys. This is called a closed presidential primary. That means voters need to choose between Democrat or Republican, but only for February's election. Voters that are on each community's permanent mail ballot list will need to send that form in to their clerk's office asking for a Democratic or Republican ballot. And this does not mean you're registering as a voter in any specific party. That is not required in the state of Michigan. East Lansing City Clerk Marie Wicks tells me it's a lot to think about, which is why they're doing this more than five weeks before the primaries. I, I realize that it can cause some confusion. We've heard that, but we just appreciate everybody's patience and know that between the city clerks and the county clerk, we're just doing everything that we possibly can to make sure that voters have access to the ballot. And Wicks says their offices will reach out to voters by phone, mail, or email if they haven't gotten that form yet. They say it's not a bad thing. They just want everyone registered to vote to make their voices heard. Guys. All right, Kellen, the partisan form does not mean you have to vote for the same party in the August primary or the general election.